Okay, let's move on to the string sound. So for any chordal sound, we're going to want to set our oscillators to polyphonic rather than mono, which we use for the drums, because we want to be able to play multiple notes and chords. Just like with the drums, I've got a pattern programmed in just to make it easy to hear the sounds whilst we uh, tweak it. So it's got some long chords. What I'm going to do with the oscillators, I'm going to turn to my saw wave. It's got quite a spiky, harmonically rich sound, which is perfect for strings. And we're going to have multiple oscillators, all three set to same saw wave to give the impression of multiple players. Okay, it's a little bit phasey at the moment because each one is set to the same pitch. To vary that up, I'm going to detune them ever so slightly. Not using the semitones, I want the note to be the same, but just use the sense to take a little bit of that detuning chorus of sounds. Somewhere between five and ten cents is about right. Put it on five. And then push it up a bit, keeping them equal and opposite. Get a thicker spread of sounds. If you go at anything too heavy, it gets a bit of car horn sounding. So keep it around the five to seven mark. Let's go seven and minus seven. So we're going sense, not semitones. Okay, let's have a look at the filter. So for this, it's a little bit spiky and toppy for my taste. So I'm just going to use a low pass filter just to roll off a little bit of that high end. gets rid of some of that harshness and then moving on to the envelope or the shape of the sound if we're going for a bowed sound you want quite a long attack longish to medium decay full sustain and medium to long release so the notes kind of flow into each other Finally, I might just stick a little bit of chorus on using the chorus effects on the right. Just to give a bit more to that detuned unison sound. As an alternative, you could try and make more of a plucked or pizzicato string sound. So I'm going to copy the setting and paste it onto my plucked channel below. So I'm going to keep the oscillators the same, keep the filter the same. But what I'm going to do is change the shape of the sound. So if it's a pluck sound, it's going to be a fast attack and little to no sustain. Keeping everything else the same, you're just varying up this envelope. Both of these sounds can benefit from a little bit of reverb, so it can help stick that on afterwards. So just pop some chrome verb on this pluck sound. <laughs> 